Perfect, Paula. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate um, the opportunity to be here uh, with you and your uh, um, amazing group uh, of uh, solicitors, lawyers, and, and those involved in, in your sphere. So this is an important topic for business. Uh, and I want to share with you uh, some case studies, some insights, and some particular concepts, I think, that if you get these, if you walk away with these, then half your battle is already overcome. And then you can set up for, you know, really systemizing your business. The whole purpose of thinking about systemizing is to actually create more time in your business uh, and reduce errors. And I'll share with you, uh, you know, a case study about that. It also enables you to scale your profits because you've got your business systems supporting your team, yourself and your entire business. So we're going to get out of survival mode and learn how to start systemizing your business so it can actually start to run predictably without you. Sound like a plan? Questions, I would say, unless it's super, super urgent that Paula can interrupt me and say, hey, Namika, we've got this. Can you please answer it now? Awesome to do it. Otherwise, we're definitely going to have time at the end to answer them, pop them in the chat box, and we'll definitely get to your questions. So who am I? I'm Namika Georgiatis. I'm a certified systemologist. Uh, and that is, a systemology is the brainchild of David Jennings, who is a Melbourne, fellow Melbourneian, and he is... It was, it was his brainchild when he used to run his Melbourne SEO services business. So he was able to step out of that business, have a chief operations officer run it, and then sold it for a really high multiple of its market value because it was fully systemized. He'd already stepped out. The new business owner realized that there was no dependency on the previous business owner and they could just go in there, make profit. So that's, that's what we're looking at. But what are we covering today? What's in it for you? Why, why should we, you know, be focused on business systems? I'm going to cover off the four stages of business systems, which, or business systemization, which, which gives you the conceptual framework as to the progress of the life cycle of how business systems evolve and what you need to look out for and how to approach it. We're going to look at the DNA of repeatability and the components that make that up and why that's important in extracting the DNA of repeatability from your business. We're going to look at just touch on increasing the value of your business and, again, some case studies and how to free you, the business owner, from daily operations and improving team efficiency. We're going to touch on those points because they're really, really important as well if you want a fully systemized business that you can step out of.